Hello, Corny Bread Man here, and today we are going to talk about a Create Mod Boiler. Go ahead and take a peek in this chest. This will be everything you will need to make your starter boiler. This is the easiest boiler that you can make right off the bat and the least amount of materials. Of course, the goggles are completely optional, but they do allow you to see the amount of stress units that your machines take and the amount of stress units your machines put out. But real quick, only a small portion of people watching are subscribers. If you don't want to miss any content, please think about subscribing. It's completely free. Thanks. Right. After grabbing everything out of the chests, we're going to go over and start building our boiler. We're going to start out by breaking three blocks and creating a water collection system for our boiler. Go ahead, place your pipe in the water and then place your pump right on top and then grab your wrench and grab that pipe back and place the pipe right on top of the pump. You're gonna go ahead and connect the create tanks to that pipe. Now, after placing your campfires underneath, you go ahead and grab out your steam engines and your andesite shafts. We're gonna go ahead and connect those to the sides and create the steam engine component. By connecting the steam engines to the actual tanks, you see it changes it to a boiler. And then to get functionality out of the boiler, you have to add the andesite shafts to the steam engines. All right, next step is we're gonna have to power this pump and we're gonna have to use a water wheel and we're gonna go over three blocks the fourth block being the block we dig down two blocks and then two blocks in front of it placing our water wheel we're gonna go ahead and place blocks around it to encase the water and then place a bucket of water after placing that bucket of water and getting our water wheel up and running we're gonna have to get the water wheels power over to the pump and it's a very simple we're just gonna place an andesite shaft on the water wheel and then place a large cog a small cog place a small cog on your pump and then connect them with a vertical gearbox our boiler needs three things to work it needs heat it needs water and then it needs to be the proper size so as soon as the water starts flowing into the boiler, it will turn on and we'll be able to see our stress unit capacity, which is 2,048 stress units. Well, I hope you learned something. Maybe you even enjoyed it. And remember, likes are always free. And if you want to support my channel, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.